Well, by, by the way, Brandy, you're not supposed to call them prisoners anymore. Incarcerated personnel. Oh, yeah, that's sake. not, I mean, I'm you know, sorry, you're going to piss a lot of people now? off. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a fucking break. So once again, guys, we're going to be saved by the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Dennis Rodman. The worm. Yes, he's going to go save the WNBA, which happens to be a radio station in Cincinnati, I believe. Les Nesman, <laughs> reporting the news and weather. Yeah. WKRP in Cincinnati. No, nah, it's WNBA. Oh, WNBA. <laughs> Cincinnati. No, uh, nobody even cares about the WNBA. Come oh, my on. God, oh, Hammer. Come on. It's right out of the chute. Right out of the shoot. But you're... Dennis, we're happy you're going to go save. Put your cape on and fly on over to Russia. And hey, can make we it start happen. with the fact that Britney's guilty? Um, I mean, but it's, it's marijuana. No, it was hash oil. Okay. Yeah. Which I think brings a little stiffer. Speaking of stiff, we got another per show coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's not go stiff yeah, but yet. She got caught with something, so she should be. Uh, I, I technically, genuinely. she should be dealing with the consequences of doing something. You got to deal with. You can't. You know. Guess what? Those aren't our laws, and you gotta. If you're gonna go somewhere, you gotta know what the laws when are. I take so my heroin break. into Mexico. I'm very careful about it. Yeah, because your dumbass and my dumbass always has something, exactly. you know, <laughs> hidden somewhere that we forgot about. When you go sweating yeah. through uh, TSA, you know there's a problem. <laughs> yeah, these guys uh, with the prison wallets just. Look, look at stuff. Brandy over there. No, I, I. I genuinely thought this was a joke. I, I thought that when I saw this article that. They were fucking kidding that he was, you know, okay, he did that thing with Kim Jong-un, you know, I, they, because right. they had some sort of relationship. And then, you know, he went back to Russia a couple of years ago and met Putin and said that he was cool. Um, but I, why, why does he keep inserting himself in international affairs that have nothing to do with him? I mean... Well, what else okay. Is he doing? okay, basketball, I get it. I, but... I've, I've known Dennis for like 30 years plus. He's a great guy. He's a Newport Beach guy. Dennis, you're a cool cat. He's a Badass motherfucker. The guy was, I mean, who else got 32 rebounds in one game? Oh, dude, the guy knows how to handle his balls. Yeah. So, Speaking you know, that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, <laughs> you know what? Think about it. The people in uh, North Korea and in Russia, they don't even know what's going on. And, and a lot of them know uh, Dennis because he's been there and done that. And they restrict all the, well, you yeah, know. The state allowed that information to right. go out because he was a friend of Putin. Right. Yeah. And so think about it. They don't know who the fuck Biden is or any of that stuff. So if you send him over there and he's going, he's a basketball player also. And he says, hey, you know, maybe give her a break. Um, don't know if it'll work, but he might as well roll the dice. Yeah, well, wouldn't it be interesting if Rodman ends up behind bars when he's there for whatever reason? You know, who knows? I mean, I feel like this. there's a war going on, not between us and Russia, but between, you know, I mean, come on. The Ukraine, it, it, it's, it's a whole thing still going on that we, nobody's talking about apparently well, anymore yeah, because it's, it's just become like it's irrelevant. Because yeah, they're it's embarrassed, embarrassed by it. And it's not COVID. Yeah. So why well, would yeah. we talk about, you know, people being Well, the president killed. of the United States has done uh, jack shit about it and he's embarrassed about it well, and yeah. they don't want it out there. And what to Randy's point, you know, it's like we're not in that war, but we are supplying 90% of the munitions for that war. So as far as Russia's concerned, we are in this war. Yeah. And so, the only reason we're in it is because... They can cut off natural gas, gas and food to the rest of Europe. All of Europe. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But what's so, Dennis going to do? I mean, is he going to go and say, hey, she's a good girl. She played basketball like me. Let's let her go. I mean, what's his, what's his tact? You know, I don't know what his tact, and none of us do. But, you know, uh, he just might be uh, clever enough or dumb enough or smart enough to uh, actually pull it off. And, uh, hey, you know what? I don't think it's going to hurt. Uh, Dennis, I've known him a long time. He's a very funny guy. He's, you know, he's smart. He can figure this shit out. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, if you have a relationship with Putin and he respects him, you know, maybe he gets the sentence reduced. I bet he doesn't get an audience with Putin, however. Putin, maybe not. number one, is he's like Brandy said, he's in the middle of a war, so Putin's a little tied up right now. Number two... At least the reports that we're getting, and I don't know how much this to believe or not, but they're saying Putin's just like really shitty health right now. Like he's going downhill bad. And I don't know if that's that's propaganda, US media bro. saying yeah. you know for us to get behind that. It probably is. That's probably. But regardless, I don't know if he's going to get a, uh, an like actual audience with him. You want shitty yeah. health? Look at Biden. Putin's, <laughs> Putin's in fucking great shape. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah. Either way. A guy who's like a former KGB special agent, yeah, who's now had a state of like 
the largest landmass country has what nine time zones yeah. <laughs> under his control. I think the guy's smarter than even 32 rebounds in one game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> and hey, you know what? Think about it. They might be able to use it, like um, Adam says, to their benefit also. You know, and I, I agree with you, though, Hammer. It's like I, I know Rodman. I've known him for a long time. And when you get him one-on-one, -on -one, he's a really personable guy. Oh, he's I a mean, great he guy. drops the persona. He's, he's a really genuine person. I mean. But I, he's not a diplomat. He's a kind of what a, is a guys, diplomat? Come on. Well, I mean, the imagination. Anybody can charm someone, you know. I mean, that is proven over and over again. We, you know, I mean, you can sit with pretty much anybody, and and I, I, I I'm very charming. Um, I can, you know, I kind of can acclimate to any situation and and get someone to like me. But that okay, doesn't it's all mean about Randy. that doesn't mean that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna risk my life and Set other Randy. people's lives by going to. That's true. I mean, I I. I it's admirable on some level, but yeah. I mean, what what are we seeking to gain? Here? How do you think it's going to risk lives? I mean, except Dennis's. You know? I, mean, I mean, well, who else is he bringing with him? I mean, what he's not going to go by himself. He'll probably bring his Labrador. You know, he's nah, Dennis travels by himself. He just he'll go up there with a couple of buddies. Hey, Patrick, don't yeah, go. Don't go, Patrick. <laughs> I'm just saying, Patrick, don't go. Go hang at the 47. Leave yeah. alone. That oh, would but, you know, be so good. The you know the outcome. I, I, you're probably right, Hammer. There's probably not a lot of damage that could happen, but there's probably also not a lot of positive output. But really, how important is this girl to everything oh. that's going on? Not well, to, you know, to, to well, the war and all that. You it's, say she, the dumbest story, shit, I swear to God. Her, I mean, like, her story it doesn't matter. It's, it's a human life. And, and No, that's not and, the point. Her, her life, she did something wrong. She's in jail in another right, country. Right, right. And he's going to go over there and try to do something. Abroad, but in you know? the scheme of things, I like locking up it doesn't really mean much. Right? I mean, that's one person. There's a million fucking people in jail all over the place, okay, for doing stupid shit. But if you want to go over there and make some celebrity, you know, stunt and do this thing, hey, I'm all over it. But prison systems in other countries are quite a bit more strict than here. Sure. It, it's, it's a, this is a more of a pampered ass society as opposed to if you go to another country, if you're in prison, you're in prison. Well, by, by the way, Brandy, you're not supposed to call them prisoners anymore. That's actually incarcerated personnel. Oh, yeah, that's sake. not. I mean, I'm you know, sorry, you're I mean, not criminals people now. Off. Give, yeah. give me a fucking break. Uh, their yeah, laws otherwise. are their laws. Yeah. Just because it's, it's more free here doesn't yeah. mean that it's okay to right. do that there. Yeah. You should. I've been to a lot of different countries. It, you should explore what their law is prior to going in there. You can't bring gum into Singapore. It's fucking illegal. No, the best yeah. thing but, to you do. Know, I mean, every it, time you go somewhere, this is what I do. Buy a new fucking backpack, because I don't know how much residues in the old oh, Jesus. <laughs> and the other question is, right, okay, so if it's extreme penalty in Turkey, for example, or Singapore to spit on the, on the yeah. curb, am I allowed to come back because it's not as strict here? And I mean, face no consequences beyond that? I mean, that? I've been to, like, I, I was in Kuala Lumpur. I was in a bar in Malaysia. And there was a sign. Shock, are you in a bar? There okay. was a it was It was in the bar in the, in the hotel. I was sitting there, there was a, a sign on the wall and I didn't know what it said. And, and Kuala Lumpur is predominantly Muslim. I, I asked the bartender, I said, what does that say? He said, well, if you are Muslim de descent and you get caught drinking, you'll be put to death. And I was like, holy fucking shit. It just says that <laughs> in Ripping the bar. Off your head, but I mean, you've got to, you, you have to explore these things yeah. before you enter a new country because, you know, oh, yeah. these are, they have some very extreme laws, you know, that, that you may not know going in and you make that mistake. But bringing drugs into another country, you gotta fucking use your head, dude. I mean, come on. Well, you're just you a dumbass at that, that point. That time. wasn't okay. Yeah. Like, there's countries I've been to where if, if yeah. you get caught with drugs, you get put to death, and they keep it out of the media. Nobody fucking knows about it. No, but the, the problem it, with a lot of these people. It's their I don't laws. Know if it's, I don't know if it's, if it's true with Brittany. Probably is, but I don't know. Is oh, it, you know, I'm a professional athlete. They'll let me do whatever I want. I it's think a lot of people, a lot of people behave like they that. Behave I do like know that. a lot of uh, professional athletes. Yeah. I do know a lot of Absolutely. famous people. They do actually have that kind of arrogance where they just assume that they are above they, the law. Exactly, and it's 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 uh, maybe there's an example to be seen here. Well, like yeah, you're you not at, above what, anybody else. 
You're the same fucking person awesome. as everyone else. Muslim countries, if you're caught stealing, they'll cut your hand up or something like that. Well, oh, yeah, that's yeah, something absolutely. I don't necessarily know. I mean, there's we could we could we could talk about laws all day that they have that are a little bit crazy that we think. Right, but they don't they have, have the mass mass shootings. They don't have do a lot of shit they have in the U.S. No, right. I watched a video this morning where this guy was mopping in the subway system, and some bum came over and shit in his mop bucket while he was mopping. I mean, and nobody nobody Score. did it. He didn't get arrested. But you know what I mean? Like, that's fucking, that's not okay. Not okay. <laughs> you can't spit, or you can't bring gum or spit on the ground in Singapore, but you can shit in somebody's mop bucket, you know, and that's totally okay. But what's really important about that mop bucket shitting thing is we've been trying to figure out who the one person was that watched that video. Now we know. It, it was actually, it was funny because I did watch that video, but it reminded me, I was in Beverly Hills putting gas in my car one day, and I get back in the car and I'm just sitting in there with the door closed while my gas is pumping and a bum walked over to right next to my door, dropped a box on the ground, pulled his pants down, took a shit in the box and stared at me. And I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? I don't even know. I, I can't even leave. That's I have a, a gas pump. In, you know what I mean? Like you got in, a gas in my, pump in your hand. In my, no, you got a lighter in the other, up. and you fucking light that bitch up. I, I, if, I, if I was outside of the car, you know, but yeah. that's that's horrible. Anyway, hey guys, but, hey listen. Come on. All I'm gonna say is, Dennis, wish you wish you all the best, brother man. Go over there and kick some ass. But other than that, uh, Brittany, we'll see you in nine years, and come on to the show. And see ya. <laughs>